Welcome back to Ayaz Tech. In this video, I will show you that how you can create a snake game by using HTML5 canvas in chat GPT. So let's begin. I already have logged into chat GPT, so I can just start typing here. Let's type, please write code for snake game in HTML5 canvas. This game should be uh, the UI the UI of this game should be modern and it should be very colorful further it should be be controlled easily from keyboard arrow keys so let's see what it does for us i am going to press enter okay it has started to write the canvas for us and after that it has written a basic style just to give it a border to show us the boundary of the game and i am very impressed that it is writing the entire code with proper commenting so it is providing you proper comments uh, that is kind of a documentation for you you can as a developer easily understand that uh, what does this code do so this is uh, the commenting is very very important in the programming so as this is uh, providing us the comments so any developer can easily understand that what's going on in this code and they can easily modify this code because of these comments and i can see that the code it looks very neat easy to understand and easy to modify so it is really impressive uh, okay it has stopped i don't know if it has completed or not uh, I guess it did not complete the code yet because you can see that script was started but it could not uh, write the end tag for the script so this happens sometimes that it does not complete it stops in the middle so sometime you have to tell it literally that resume from where you left above so let's see if it can resume or not please resume uh, code from where you left above so let's see if it helps or not okay so i guess it has resumed from where it left so so you uh, sometimes you cannot 100 percent depend on it but uh, still it is very helpful uh, you can you have to use your mind as well like this we know that uh, it stopped here we asked it to resume and now we know that we have to combine these two pieces of code together to keep it in one place to make it work so now it has completed the code by writing the ending tag of script so i hope that it is a proper code so let's copy it click on this copy code button that would copy the code on your clipboard now go back to your vs code and inside the body tag you can just paste the code that was given to you from here now scroll down to get the rest of the code copy this as well and paste it here after you have pasted just save it and let's go to the browser to test it so this is the browser i'm going to reload it all right so you can see that the snake game is working but there is one thing that i can see is that the speed of snake is too much so I cannot play this game in this speed. So I want to decrease the speed of the snake. So uh, I can uh, read the code and I can modify the code to reduce the speed. But if I am not too much technical and I don't know how to reduce the speed, then I can. I don't have to spend my brain to uh, to understand. I can just uh, directly go back to the chat GPT and I can talk with it. I can ask this question from the chat gpt that hey chat gpt please tell me how to reduce the speed of snake then uh, i'm sure that it will help us and it will guide us that what code we have to write to reduce the snake speed so let's try that 
how can i reduce the speed of snake in above game please help okay let's see so it is telling me that to reduce the speed of the snake you can increase the time interval between each frame of the game loop so it is using set interval it is telling me here is an example of how you can modify the game loop to run at slower speed okay So it would use uh, uh, at as it sounds like it is going to use the set interval somewhere to control the speed. So let's observe. All right. So set interval and the game speed so game speed is coming from this variable and it is calling the game loop in the set interval let's try to ask uh, it to write us uh, the same game with the slow snake speed i need same code but with slow snake speed please provide me full code again with slow snake speed so let's see i guess this is the variable that we are going to use to control the game speed It stopped in the middle, so let me tell it to complete. Resume from where it left. Resume your code from you left above. So it has resumed from where it left. It left from the draw food, so it has started to write the code from the draw food. Now it is adding some event listeners. All right, the code is ready. Let's copy paste this code and use it again to see if that works this time. So I have removed the old code. Now I'm going to paste this rest of the code. all right let's test it reload it and now you can see the speed is controllable you can see that i can control the snake from my keyboard arrow keys and whenever i eat a food then the length of my snake is increased so that is very interesting and awesome so you can see that i can play the snake game that is created by the artificial intelligence so that is really amazing. I'm very excited to build things like this with the help of chat GPT. So I'm very motivated to create more useful ideas by using chat GPT. If you want to continue learning with me, then please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you could keep getting notification for all of my upcoming videos related to the chat gpt also please don't forget to like and share this video and if you have any kind of questions or if you have any suggestions then please mention them in the comments section thanks for watching see you next time